Hi guys, so today I'm going to be giving you guys a review on this comfy portable washer machine that I purchased off Amazon. I've had it for about two months now and I feel like I've gotten enough test runs or actually loads I've done to do this video. So hopefully this is informative for somebody that's looking to see what it looks like or how to hook it up because it is a little confusing. Well, at least it was for me to hook it up the first time. So let's get into it. So this is what it looks like. It is digitalized and it has all these features um, from load size. You can select, um, let me turn it on for you guys, for you guys can see. You can select the size, the water temperature. Um, you can program it, you know, smaller loads, bigger loads, bulky, quick, all that good stuff, extra rinse. And this is the on and off or the pause and go button. This is the on and off button. So that's what it looks like. Um, if you lift it up, I have it loaded. So I feel like it's kind of deep. It's pretty deep in there. Um, this isn't a regular load, nothing too crazy. Um, in here you would put your detergent and I believe this is where the water comes out of. So I will be putting in the pods because that's just easiest for me. And that's what it looks like. Now, when you buy it, well, when I purchased it, I purchased it specifically because it had wheels or has wheels. That white right there, yeah, that's the wheel. And I really didn't like it. I thought it was like the tire, the wheels were like way, way too small. So when you go ahead and try to roll this, you have to tilt it so much, even though it has handles, that is just so inconvenient. I don't really care for the wheel so i ended up buying a dolly off of amazon and that works way way better and it comes with hoses and then this is where your cold water would go in and your hot water let's see if this thing wants to stop moving around and it also comes with attachment pieces which it comes with this you attach it to the end and it comes with the faucet attachment piece also and all you have to do after you have them all attached, you pull this um, spring down and you just press it up so it clicks like so and release. And that's it. And then you have your drainage where your dirty water comes out of. And that's it. And it's pretty simple to use. So I will demonstrate on how to use this. I will select my load size, which is already there. Wash and rinse, wash, rinse, and spin. Let me see. There, large load. I will leave it on warm. And it is kind of bulky, so I guess I'll leave that there. And that's it. And you set this to go. And you turn on your water. Now, for me, I say you have to be careful with this. Just because if you leave this unattended after it's done pulling all the water it needs... I guess this kind of like just shuts off or like it plugs up and your water will go everywhere. So either have it on low if you're going to leave the house, like don't have the water pressure too high and put, you know, put a rag over it for it not to leak all over your, everywhere in your house. So I usually just wait until it's done and then I'll turn it off. One, it saves everybody, you know, a headache and water. So and that's it. And you just wait. Okay, so I just finished getting all the water in, and I just want you guys to hear how noisy it is, I guess, if it's loud. I don't think it's loud at all. And I haven't gotten any complaints from my neighbors, so I think is a five star for me. And there you have it. And very good storage right off the kitchen for me is I have this tiny closet. And believe it or not, the washer fits between there. But if it wasn't because of the dolly, it would be very difficult to get it in there. So, yeah. I say go for it. If you guys want to try it out, there's the model. And for under 300 bucks, I think you can't beat that. For the convenience, definitely worth it. 